Congratulations! You just took the next big step in your cryptocurrency evolution. You've decided to move your ADA off of an exchange onto your very own wallet. Your keys, your coins. Well done. Today we're going to help you set up your Euroi wallet. In just a few minutes, you'll be able to breathe a sigh of relief knowing that your coins are no longer at risk of being hacked on an exchange and they're fully securely under your control. Then from there, all you need to do is pick your favorite stake pool, delegate to them, and sit back and relax while your ADA generates staking interest for you risk-free. Welcome back to Woodland Pools, your place for the latest Cardano news, tutorials, and the information that you need to grow your investment with confidence. Today we're going to dive into the Yoroi wallet. We'll take a look at how to get the wallet, how to fund it with the ADA that you purchase on an exchange, and then how to take that ADA and delegate it to your favorite stake pool risk-free. As always, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, and if you want to see more content like this, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. Let's jump in. All right. So to get the Yoroi wallet, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to cardano.org. As we mentioned in all of our videos that correspond to going to an actual website, I highly recommend that you just manually type in cardano.org and not go through a Google search or some other link somewhere. There are phishing scams everywhere and highly sophisticated uh, attempts to steal your money and your coins, sometimes for pages that look indistinguishable from the real ones. So do yourself a favor, just go directly to cardano.org and type it in manually. So now that we're here, um, we're going to go to where it says individuals and we're going to click on Yoroi wallet. That's going to open up for us the uh, Yoroi wallet main homepage. There's a bunch of information about what it is, the roadmap that it's been on, the technology that it uses. We go into a lot more detail about that in our previous video where we compare the three main wallets. And if you're curious about that, please go check that video out. But for now, we're just going to go straight to the download. So uh, I'm going to click on download. Um, as it is a browser extension, we'll need to pick what browser we're on. Uh, I'm on Brave, so I'm going to select Chrome since Brave is built on top of Chrome. And it takes me to the Chrome Web Store, and then all I need to do is add to Brave. So I'll click Add Extension. And that's it. It's been added to Brave, so I can click on it. And, and when I click on it, I can also get it obviously by going to my extensions here. That's it, it loads the Euroi wallet. So I'll say I want to continue in English. As a service agreement, I highly recommend that you read this. And now we choose what kind of interface. We'll just go with the simple one. Do you want to enable payment URLs? Let's just skip this for now. And uh, we'll confirm that we can come back to this later if we'd like. Okay, so here we are, that's it. Um, that was all the install we needed to do. So now we can either connect a hardware wallet, we can create a Yoroi wallet, we can restore a previous Yoroi wallet if we have the, uh, the, um, the passphrase, or we can also transfer funds from Daedalus to Yoroi. So I'll pause here and say, I know that some of you uh, have come to this video because you'd like to set up a Yoroi wallet from scratch using the words that they provide. We're gonna show how to do that. Uh, for the rest of the demo, I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna use a hardware wallet because I have a ledger and that's just what, what I prefer to use. What I would say is that in the future, if you have the ability to get yourself a hardware wallet, either a ledger or a treasure, I'd highly recommend it. It's definitely the more secure way to go. That being said, if right now you don't have the money or time to uh, get a hardware wallet and you just want to have your own personal wallet that is off of the exchange, that's definitely a great idea and a good way to go. I highly recommend you move your coins off of the exchange and you control them with your own custody of your own coins. So let's show you how you would do that. Um, so we would go to create wallet. We say we want a Cardano wallet and we're gonna create the wallet. So now we're just gonna call this test wallet. It's gonna ask me to make a spending password. I'm just gonna make one up. Actually. Doesn't need to be a great password. We're not actually going to keep this. Okay, so recovery phrase. Now, if you've not worked with these recovery phrases before, this is very important, and they give you a warning here about this. Yoroi is going to provide you a fifteen a, a, a phrase of fifteen character, fifteen words. Okay, um, those fifteen words are what are going to be used to create the private keys that are going to sign all transactions as you. Now, since you don't have a physical hardware wallet like the ledger that I'm going to be using, these 15 words are the only way that you'll be able to verify that it is you when you're making transactions. 
As long as you keep the Yoroi extension installed on Chrome, it'll remember your wallet and you'll just need to use your spending password to, to send and receive funds. But if something were to happen, like if your uh, browser were to crash and needs to be reinstalled, or if your computer were to die and you need to buy a new one, right? The only way to recover and come back using this restore wallet functionality would be with those 15 words. Nobody can send it back to you. When it's shown to you right now is the only time those words are gonna be presented. So if we come back, okay, um, I'm gonna say, yeah, I've seen the words. Uh, they're gonna give them to me. This is the only time those words are gonna be shown to you. It is super important that one, you keep them written down in a safe place, and two, that you don't let anybody else have access to them. Because if they do, then they can pretend to be you and open up their own Euroi wallet, get the uh, their private keys that are created will be identical to yours because they're created from these words and they'll be able to spend money as if they were you. So please be careful about that. So here's the words that it would provide me if I was making this wallet. I'm not going to, but here they are. You say, okay, you write them all down. You say, yes, I've written them down. Then it's gonna ask you to confirm those words, okay? Once you've confirmed it, then it'll actually finish everything up and it will make for you your wallet inside of Yoroi. This is a true Yoroi wallet that lives inside of the Yoroi extension, okay? So you're good to go there. If, as we said, <clears throat> you're in a situation where you need to restore it, you can come to restore a wallet, you select Cardano, you put your 15 word recovery phrase for the Shelly era is what we're in, and you would just put the phrase back in and then you're good to go and your wallet is fully restored. That's why it's so simple, rather because it's so simple, to restore it and get access to your keys again, that's why it's so important to keep those words safe, okay? We, however, will be using a hardware wallet. I'm gonna use my Ledger Nano X. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug that in and we're gonna connect to a hardware wallet. We wanna do Cardano, Ledger hardware wallet, a Shelly era wallet. Byron, by the way, is, a, is the previous era that we were in. If you're curious actually about the Byron era and the different eras that we've moved through, check out our Cardano roadmap overview video and we cover all the different eras and what happens in each. So Shelly era wallet, okay. Uh, we're gonna connect, so prerequisites, we have the Nano X, so let's hit next. Uh, it is connected. All right, Ledger Nano X. Okay, so it's locked, so I'm gonna need to enter my pin, which I'm gonna do right now. It's gonna ask me to export my public keys, so I'm gonna say yes. Again, uh, if you're using a hardware wallet, your private keys live on the device and never leave, but your public keys obviously are what you share back and forth with the blockchain so they know that it's you. All right. Let's try this one more time. I think I waited too long for the second confirmation, okay. So now it's syncing, uh, that's fine. We'll call it Uroi Ledger and let's save. All right, so here we are. Now, uh, again, <clears throat> if you use the, the fully, uh, full Uroi wallet, let's call it that way, where they provide the words to you and you write them down and you're not using the hardware wallet, once you do that and you create it and you get past the confirmation steps, you'll just be taken straight to here, okay? It's exactly the same. The only difference is how you, you verify. So now let's take a look at our interface here. Uh, here we have uh, our, uh, where we can see a history of our transactions. We can send to somebody. All we need to do is put their address here and the amount that we want to send. We can receive from an address. Here's our wallet's address, okay? Um, <clears throat> if you uh, have a smartphone, you can uh, scan this QR code and it'll also copy the address. Here's our dashboard that gives us a summary of everything that's going on, how much we have, the rewards that we've gained from delegation, how much we have delegated. We'll get to that in a second. Here's our delegation list where we can search for pools. We'll come to that in a second. And then here we can actually uh, delegate to a specific pool if we know their ID. Over here we've got our different settings. And this is uh, specifically for if you participated in the incentivized test net. Uh, so don't worry about that. I don't figure that most of you that are coming to learn about this now were part of the ITN, so, so don't worry about that. But let's go back here to this main page. So. Pretty good so far, right? I mean, we wanted to set up our Euroi wallet and we're only a few minutes in, we've already set it up. So now what we need to do is we need to take our funds from the exchange, uh, whichever exchange you bought them on, and you're gonna wanna go to withdraw or send or whatever it's called on that exchange. We're gonna go here to receive. We're gonna get our address, we're gonna copy it. And we're gonna send those funds here to our Euroi wallet. Now, what I will say as best practice, 
any time that you're doing uh, sending or receiving cryptocurrency, you really want to do a test transaction first and send some small amount to make sure it goes through. That's actually where my, uh, my one ADA come fr came from. I did a test transaction earlier. So send that through to make sure it goes through. And once that goes through, then you're gonna wanna send your balance, okay? So I did my test transaction. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and send a, a few more ADA through so we can do the delegation. But uh, at this moment, you should take this time to do your first test transaction and make sure it goes through, all right? So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so I see here that my I have an incoming pending confirmation for 10 ADA. The status of it right now is, is uh, low. It's not been confirmed by enough transactions. Um, but great, so my 10 ADA, it looks like it is on the way. So in the meantime, what we can do is let's go and look at, well actually, so, so let's pause here actually. There's a big deal, right? So let's, let's say your, uh, your test transaction went through, right? Go ahead and actually let's do this. Pause me here, it went through, send the rest of your balance, I'll wait. Okay, so now uh, hopefully you've unpaused, you've received the rest of your funds <clears throat> and in that case, now this is a big deal, right? You've successfully gotten your ADA off of the exchange onto your own wallet that you are the only person that has access to it and you're the one who is solely in charge of it. Congratulations, right? This is pretty exciting. Give yourself a pat on the back. Uh, great, so now uh, we've already gotten the funds onto our wallet. All we have left to do is we just need to delegate to our favorite stake pool. So let's come to the delegation list. All right, cool. So we see here just this list of pools and it's actually really, really easy. If you see here, we can just pick the one that we like and we click delegate and uh, we just delegate and then we're good to go and then we're done. There are some fees associated with the first time that you delegate, just becoming part of the, the network, uh, but it's a one-time thing. And then after that, this fraction of an ADA right here, the 0.18, that is what it would cause uh, cost every time you change pools. So very, very small fees for doing this, okay? So I would just click delegate and then I'd be good to go there. The other way that you can delegate is you can also search by a pool's name. So for example, a pool that you could search for would be our pool Aspen, uh, which I think this will be a moment to say that uh, if, if you enjoy the content that we're doing and you wanna support the channel, we would highly appreciate it if you supported our, our new pool Aspen. Um, we're, we're trying to put out really good content for you guys and, and uh, help you through this journey. Uh, and we'd really appreciate it if you were to help us and uh, donate to our pool and help us grow in saturation. So, so that's it, right? So now we've, we've gotten our funds, we've delegated to the pool, and we're good to go. Now, all we need to do is anytime we buy more ADA, we get it sent over. Um, we should be able to see here on our dashboard, yep, here we go, the upcoming rewards. Once we've delegated, we'll see the rewards come through. And that's really all there is to it. Um, so I guess I'll pause here and I'll say, uh, if you guys have any uh, comments or questions, if something was kind of unclear, something that we could do better for you all, uh, any topics you'd like us to cover in the future, please let us know. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe and turn on notifications so that you'll always know about new videos as they come out. And once again, uh, if you'd like to support the channel, we'd really appreciate it if you consider delegating to our Aspen stake pool, which we'll link down in the description below. Thanks a lot and congratulations again. Talk to you next time.